Or do the rich people cringe and say, don't tell them that, Robert? Yes, yes, yes. Don't tell people what, they, what you know. Right. Keep them poor. The moment I pay you, you think like an employee. The moment you accept the paycheck, your brain goes dead. That's the trap. Entrepreneurs work for free. As long as you're hungry, you'll think. The school system was designed to teach you to be an employee or a doctor or a lawyer, a specialist, but never about money. The poor will always be amongst us because it starts up here. It's, it's in their words, you know, and the words become flesh. But when they say, I can't afford it or I can't do that, they go down. They become what they say. And I meet so many people, I, don't, I can't afford it, you think I made of money? My PhD daddy says, what do you think I am, made of money? I can't afford that. And my rich dad would say, that's why he's poor. Poor people say, I can't afford it, I can't do that, I don't have time. Because this is an escape. It's an escape, you know what I mean? It's easy to say, I can't afford it. Oh, I'm too tired. Oh, I can't go to the gym. You know, when you could go to the gym, no, I can't. Truth is, I'm just too lazy to go to the gym. And your rich dad used to say what instead of, I can't afford it? How can I afford it? How can I do that? A question opens a mind, a statement closes the mind. See, when you say, I can't afford it, your mind shuts down and you become what you say. People right now who are sitting at home <clears throat> who are struggling financially or worried about money or unhappy, they may be making a lot of money, but unhappy with what they're doing. It was probably taught to you. You know, your super ego was taught, get a job, work hard, or, or you'll never be rich, or the rich are evil, or whatever. Poverty is passed on. It's taught in your families. And middle class is taught in families. And until you change your mindset, Correct. money won't help you, right? Correct. And we see that with people that win the lottery, people that make more money, they still have the same problem. Right. Because they have that poor man's soul. Correct. If you're poor, you'll always be poor. That's really hard for people to understand. Yeah, the money will disappear that fast. Just like most pro athletes, you know, they make millions of dollars and what, 65% are bankrupt five years later? It's because they come from poor families. But unfortunately, what Mr. Lipton was saying, it's passed down genetically. That's the frightening thing. If you don't want to learn it, I can't help you. You know, I have bad luck too. I've, I've had f financial crashes. I've had people stab me in the back. But they're all good because I grow from it. And that's spirituality. You know, people who are afraid of making mistakes like they teach in school, they don't ever grow because spirituality is there's good and there's bad, there's right and there's wrong, there's up and there's down. Most people only want to be right, they only want to be positive. Well, you can't have that, that's not reality. And the average person, the reason they're poor is they haven't failed. You know, they play it so safe, they haven't made any mistakes like they taught in school, that means they don't learn anything. That's why the school system is actually fundamentally corrupt. It's anti-education. But the average guy is dead end there, oh, I'm an A student, I'm, gonna, I'm going to do this all on myself. And a, and a bunch of rugby players run you over and you go, well, they're not playing fair. And what, you're, not, you're playing stupid. You should have a team. You should have accountants, attorneys, and bankers and all that stuff. But that's not the game I want to play. I said, then don't play the game. You know, the, the game of business is played with accountants, attorneys, bankers, I hate to say it, politicians. You know, you got to know the game. You know, people say, well, money is not that important to me. Then if money is not that important to you, money is not important to you. I mean, the, you know what I mean? I don't care about money. The money doesn't care about you. You know, it, the word does become flesh. Or I'll never be rich. Or the favorite one is the rich are greedy. It's the poor that are greedy. You know, if you think about it, because to be rich, you have to give something. You know, you have to, I, I have to produce books and games and I, I purchase real estate, I provide housing, provide jobs and all that. That's why I'm rich. But greedy people produce nothing. 
You know, Einstein said, you know, imagination is more important than knowledge, but knowledge empowers imagination. And what most people lack is real business knowledge, like accounting, you know, like debt, like taxes. You gotta know that stuff, but they don't teach it in school to anybody. You see, most teachers in school, they're out of ethics. They teach subjects they, don't, they themselves don't practice because I understood what a fake teacher is. A fake teacher is somebody who just wants a job and they'll teach anything. You know, they teach how to shine shoes and get paid on more money. But they really don't know what they're teaching. In life, one of the things I suggest to people, you gotta find a real teacher versus a fake teacher. And a fake teacher is somebody who doesn't do what they teach. And a real teacher is doing what they teach every day. Our school systems are making our students weaker. So in school, they have these things called now trigger effects. So you can't, as a teacher, you can't say anything that might upset the student. They don't want anything that might jar their point of view. You see people say, well, why don't you give the poor money? So the only problem with that is just creates more poor people. Give a man know. a fish, he fishes for the day, or eats for the day. Yeah, you give a man a fish, you get a lot of people who want more fish, you know? But you teach them to fish. We become creatures of our own habits. And until we break the habit, we don't change. Our schools don't teach that. Our schools teach almost the exact opposite of that. And the average person, the reason they're poor is they haven't failed. You know, they play it so safe. They haven't made any mistakes like they taught in school. That means they don't learn anything. That's why the school system's actually fundamentally corrupt. It's anti-education. So what I say to young people is you, you find your game. So my game financially is business, number one. Second is real estate. And that's why I pay no taxes. That's why Trump pays no taxes. Legally, it's a combination of business and real estate that gives us an unfair advantage over employees because they don't know what to do. And a lot of people would rather sit in the stands than be in the game. One of the greatest ways to acquire great wealth is playing Monopoly in real life. Four greenhouses, one red hotel. But is that all there is? That's it. Robert, if I could give you uh, some kind of a magic phone and you could make a call to the 20-year-old the Robert Kiyosaki and give that young man a bit of advice, what would you tell him? I would just say keep going. Just do what you have to do. Just you know, live it to the fullest level, which I did. Nothing I ever did made sense. Now, could you imagine quitting a $120,000 a year job for $200 a month to go fight in Vietnam and almost die? It, it didn't make sense, but it was the best decision I made at that time. And I think what most people do is they let their parents or their friends talk them out of life. So afraid of failing, but failing is how we succeed. You look at the, you guys look at guys like Edison and all that, they failed like 10,000, no, 1,014 times before he invented the light bulb. You know, our school's punishing for making mistakes. That's why we have so many people who are so afraid of admitting they make mistakes or afraid of failing.